Hey guys, this is Nathan Connor. Um, in this video, well, basically what I wanted to go over is um, if you're using Smart Member, uh, one of the things that you may not ha have access to is like a, a really decent guide on how to do domain mapping for the Smart Member website. Um, so I'm just going to basically just walk walk you through a tutorial as to how I got mine set up. Um, you want to do some things before you uh, do anything in Smart Member. Uh, <clears throat> so first thing you want to do is uh, you know you want to buy a domain, buy the domain that you that you want, um, and you you where you want to go is GoDaddy.com. I mean you could probably go somewhere else, but this is where I personally have all all of my domains. Um, so I'm just going to show you real quick how to do it. Uh, first thing you do is you go to your uh, Go to your domain, and you go to domain settings, and it's going to have a list of. Um, oh, never mind. That was the wrong. You go to manage domains. Um, here we go. So you go to manage domains. You click on your domain. And then right here um, under under DNS zone files, you're going to have the option to change the C name. So the C name has three different things right here. So all you really want to do is this third one right here. Keep it. Keep the host as www. And then you want. And then for points to you want to put www dot your, your uh, subdomain that smart member automatically creates. Um, so you just want to edit that, edit record, and then put that in and make sure that www is the host. And then another thing you can do is, here's what I would do, is go to forwarding and have it set to forward to um, HTTP colon slash slash www dot your domain that you want it to forward to. This this will allow it so that way um, your your regular domain, which is um, not a not a www domain, it would be just like um, your domain dot com. It basically forwards it to um, the www domain. So after you've done all of this, which that's the only two things that you need to mess with inside of your GoDaddy account, you go into your fit marketing or you go into your smart member uh, site and I'm going to go to, um, where am I going to go? I'm going to go to browse and then um, <clears throat> You can create a site, and what you can do is um, once you're ready to do this, here's what I would do: is I wouldn't actually even do the domain mapping until you've got everything set up. Um, but you you can do this if you want. Uh, you just fill in. So you make your your site your subdomain. You your site name goes here, and then under ad toggle advanced options. You go to you just basically put in your your uh, domain so www.yourdomain.com and uh, yeah so basically after you do that everything should be set up so that's really all I wanted to go over I was actually like trying to figure out how to do this for like a week um, which is kind of ridiculous how simple it was. Uh, but all I, all I really did was um, I, I called GoDaddy customer support and they just walked me through it. So I'm just giving you what I learned. Um, hopefully this helps. So hope you guys found this video insightful and valuable. Thanks for watching. Peace.